don't know if you can hear that, but I hear a lot of Canada geese. You can hear them in the distance. Anyways, so we took the, uh, my number two son and I took the long hauler two for a little road trip just to test things out, make sure systems were functional, all that good stuff. And I've had some constant, uh, if you've watched some of my older videos, you know, I've had some constant uh, squeaking from the alternator belt. Well, on this trip, and this is why we do these things. Um, I'm sorry if I'm just kind of hanging out here, not uh, doing anything, because I'm looking up on my phone here for my flashlight. Hold on. Ding. There's my flashlight. Okay. Flashlight on. So it was squeal, 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 and then it would warm up, the belt would warm up, and basically, you know, it would work. Well, that, that's that been going on for like a year now. Look at that little divot where the tire used to be. Look at that. Whoo! That's crazy. This is why you got to drive this thing around. Look at it. It's sinking into the ground. It's better I get the tires exercised a little bit. So, yeah. So, driving along, driving along. There's the battery there. There's my little uh, steering damper. And I'm looking through, and I don't know if you can see this, because um, now I'm going to have to also check for some other things. Do you notice something that's not quite right? Do you notice that right there? I don't know if you can see it. I'm going to zoom in a little bit. See that right there? That is a pulley for the alternator right there. I believe that is the alternator. Let me just... Oh, sorry. I'm just... So this, here's we, no, that's not the alternator. That's one of the wonderful smog pumps I love so much. They're wonderful, those smog pumps. But I'm gonna move this little thing out of the way here, this hose, I'm gonna get up there. Alternator is up there. It's up in that area up there. And uh, I'm gonna have that too, let's see here. Yep, I'm gonna try to get up there. You can see up there, hopefully. If I get the, get the camera at the right angle, you would think, right? Right angle for the camera, right angle for the phone. Because it is kind of dark right now, but we're going to try to do this. Yep, alternator belt blew clean off. And it was squeaking, 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 and then beep, and we didn't hear anything. So I'm sure on Route 96 in the town of Fayette, uh, there is an alternator belt laying on the ground, and uh, I'm going to have to basically get under here and uh, replace it, which is fine. Um, just trying to look under here for anything, see if it's the belt's actually hanging out somewhere here, or if it just completely flew off, which it looks like it did. So my airbags look good. Oh, look at that. Look at that sway bar bushing. That is crazy. That is not supposed to look like that. It's supposed to look like that. And it looks like that. Okay, well, I think we've got some, some work ahead of us here. Um, there's a sway bar bushing there. And that looks good. This one looks okay. Just probably could use a little work. But that is totally foobard. I know what the other side looks like. I'm going to have to get over there. But I do not like the look of that one. Look at that. That's crazy. So, um, yeah. So I've got a couple things to do. Alternator belt. I may actually um, put a different alternator in. A better alternator. Uh, in the meantime, just checking under here, making sure things are something isn't out of place or busted because of that alternator belt flying off. But um, in the meantime... This is why we do these things, and we check, and we do these little road trips. You can see the bolt looks like it pulled right out. So it might be the fact that the bolt pulled out, and I have to, like, re-secure that bolt. I put stainless bolts in and nuts and everything, but it looks like this has got to get cranked back down. So I'm going to fix that as well while I'm under here. So again, like I said just a second ago, this is why we check things out and make sure that stuff is in good working order before our trips. Take care, happy, and safe RV. Well, it's the next morning, late morning, and uh, heading back to the RV to check the belt situation out. I think those are raccoon tracks. Pretty
pretty big size tracks there compared to my foot which is over there and you can see these guys are pretty good size I believe they are raccoon tracks but anyways small distraction a lot of squirrel tracks thing over here too right by the RV better not be stolen away in the RV it's gonna be kind of a surprise here on Groundhog Day so uh, I didn't videotape moving the uh, chair over because that's just a pain I never seem to remember where that third lever is to spin the thing so I moved it over you got to shove the seat all the way over in order to get to the engine compartment. I'm gonna dump all my keys and everything out of here so nothing falls in the engine bay and I got my trusty little beat up LED flashlight which I've clear coated a couple times but I think it's the plastic is just about gone but anyways there we go so let's take a look in here so you can see it's my alternator there it's a little hard to see over the top of the solenoid you actually gotta remove that because it's just a pain it's just a bracket one bracket over here with a couple of bolts and you can get it off get it out of the way and then you get a much easier access this is uh one of my smog pumps you can see there's a pulley on that one there's a belt still on that one which is okay then we're going to come down here where there's a little bit more daylight and you can see down here i'm going to put the flashlight somewhere hopefully it doesn't take up too much space for the view so i'm going to shine right down in there and hopefully this thing is let's see we're going to try to do the we'll do the the uh, macro thing so there's a fairly new belt I put on there's that number there the other belt that's here is a little older uh, but it seems to be okay so that's good the only thing I'm seeing right now is and it's probably hard for you to see it but I'm gonna try to point it out where I can um, so these are all this these are all these little V groove but they've got the notches in them now if you look good thing I didn't go on the road and try to find the belt because well the belt never left the building or the RV see that look at that look at this thing I'm trying to figure out how how this is uh, twisted up and around I mean it is Oh my gosh, uh, I'm going to have to cut this thing out. There's no way this thing is totally screwed. Like, it's so wrapped around the fan, the, um, it's so wrapped around this thing. I don't know if I can turn it one way or the other and maybe get it a little less tangled. But I kind of doubt it because it looks like it just got caught in the main fan. Maybe it's spinning it one way or the other, I'll get it loose. Wow, that is just, that is screwed up. I don't know if I can even reach around the other side. No, that's gonna, I'm gonna have to tackle this sucker from underneath. Glad it didn't uh, do any more damage than it did, but look at that, folks. I mean, this is not funny. I mean, this could have really screwed things up. So it looks like it just slipped off, got caught up in the, um, in the cooling fan the front cooling fan where the clutch is you can see the little clutch right up there but it totally got wrapped around the shaft of the crankshaft so I'm gonna have to take a little break and I'm gonna have to get a utility knife and I'm gonna have to cut this SLB out at least the good thing is I can actually pretty sure I can still see the belt number on the belt and then we're gonna So I've got the, uh, I'm doing some research on the interwebs here, as you can see, you know, causes for belt failure, that kind of stuff, just to make sure that I'm on the right track. Uh, I'm going to cut the belt out from the inside of the rig, and I have laid out for everyone sort of the tools that I intend to use. This is the minimum set that I'm probably going to be utilizing, flashlight, obviously. 
make sure that I have uh, enough light for uh, doing work. Ubiquitous one dollar utility knife. <clears throat> uh, something to give me a little better grip when I can't get to things down inside uh, the front of the engine as you can see from the previous video. A pair of tin snips that I might use actually to just you know cut the belt instead of in lieu of the uh, utility knife. A long screwdriver which is always good for wedging into those places where the belt's been wrapped around the fan and the you know in there so to be able to pry it out do whatever and then this is to kind of this is a stainless steel brush it's from like the dollar store um, I buy them you know four or five packs at a time because this part just snaps right off and I'm going to use that to clean the pulleys because we don't want any burrs or any sharp um, uh, pieces or anything, you know, like burrs or, you know, little cuts in the pulley um, because that will affect the belt as it's spinning and it will cause problems when you replace it. So I'm going to go see if I can get a serpentine replacement belt for the, uh, the RV. I'm going to keep the air pumps, smog pumps, whatever you want to call them, the air system. For now, I don't want to monkey with that. That may be a future project, but for right now, it was working okay with the belts. We just had the squealing. And so I'm going to use this whole gaggle of stuff here to pull that crazy belt out of the uh, where it was wrapped around the cooling fan and uh, go to the auto parts place and see. Hopefully, we can luck out and get a belt. I'm going to try here to do a couple things at the same time, which is hold the camera and cut this belt with my tin snips. Don't know if I'll be successful with it, but I'm gonna try. I do this one-handed, which is exceedingly fun. And uh, I think I can get this with one last. Well, it'd be nice if it focused. There we go. So I might tack it from the, trying to get it from between a couple other belts here. This is not the most uh, easiest way to get in here to get it. But we're gonna, gonna try to take care of it here. I almost, got, I I almost have it cut through. Let's see there. It's almost cut through. Just need that little snippet. See if I can get from the top here without cutting anything else, which would be nice. Oh, this is fabulous. It's like I have to like move it around this way, that way. There we go. So I cut the belt. Good for me. So, what I gotta do is take my flashlight and move it back up where it needs to be. Because that would be nice. And some place purchase or whatever to hook it on to here. See if it's going to hold on. There we go. A little better. There you go. You can see it. So I have to somehow get this idiot belt off of. Like I'm spinning it around, spinning it around, spinning it around. It's still... Uh, it's not really 100% here. And then it's caught there. Well, at least they have the belt number there. Oh, it was a gate too. Wow, I'm surprised. I'm surprised it wasn't uh, some cheap belt that uh, broke here. You can see there, I got that under there. And this is really... It's like a major twist right here. See if I can get this. Looks like it flipped around a couple of ways around the belt. 
Sorry for the heavy breathing, folks. I'm just trying to make this work here. I'm really surprised that it's like so locked in here. Right in that hub section, it's like it's like a knot was tied in it. You can almost see that there. So I have to go through it and try to make this work here. <clears throat> wow, that's crazy. It's like totally bound up right there. So I'm gonna have to stop the cam for a little bit and see if I can get this thing to get it together here a little better. Hold on. This, my dear friends, is what is left of the belt that I pulled out of the RV. As you can see here, that's about the diameter of the hub of the cooling fan and clutch. Um, yeah. So this is what happens when you throw a belt sometimes. It gets caught around um, other things and wraps around and uh, does some amazing work here. And, it, and the funny thing was, I think it did break. Um, I can't remember where, where was the actual breaking point for it, but it was wrapped so tight around the hub, you can see here, several times, wrapped around, wrapped around, wrapped around, and uh, basically destroyed the belt, as it would want to do, and there's a friction piece there. But at least I got the belt out, and I am going to verify this uh, versus what they're calling for um, for the part. Uh, before I go to the car parts place and see if I can find one that would match because this may not even be the right size belt um, But I'm going to verify cross reference this versus what people who are on the uh, interwebs are saying uh, Is a viable belt, okay? Well, they got the uh, back from the auto place and of course they give me this non gates whatever it's a Deco Poly rib, quiet design, and it is a um, 5060560. Boy, I don't know if that's an anagram or what do you want to call it? palindrome, whatever. Um, probably not because it's not zero on both ends. But this is the replacement for this one. Now, I've noticed that this has my uh, manual and everything else calls for a six groove um, belt. This is only five, by the way. This is indeed a six groove belt. It is, as you can see here, if I put it this way, it is just that much wider than this belt. And I'm wondering if this is the wrong belt, because uh, it does call for a six groove belt. And this may have worked, but it probably was slipping because it was too narrow. And it may have shifted back and forth on the pulleys depending on what was going on what the alignment was and it basically at some point it just blew off because it was a piece of junk and it squealed all the time so we're going to find out here very shortly going to hop in the rv and check the pulley itself and get a close-up of it and say hmm is that a five or a six groove pulley because i'm thinking it's more this than that but but who knows at this point it just seems everything you do it's not uh Always what it seems to be. This is really cool. So this is the first time we're using the GoPro. Gonna try it out because this Canon camera has been sucking batteries up. I've been using this a little bit um, in an effort to upgrade from this wonderful Canon camera, which is much older, but boy, uses batteries a lot less than that one. So we're going to go to the GoPro generation here and do some improvements. Um, that's what I'm going to try to do. So it's a smaller camera, kind of cool. Hopefully I can finish off the uh, alternator belt replacement using this uh, GoPro. All right, I'm using the GoPro. Don't know how well it's going to work, but I'm going to get in here. So I've loosened the bolt for the uh, alternator, which is uh, right there. I loosened it so it's all the way down the track. Um, it's pushed all the way as far over as I can get it. 
and you can just see a little bit of the belt there. I'm just gonna try to get in, maybe, with the light and everything, but not 100% sure if I can. So there's the new belt, uh, hooked up to the top of the alternator. And we're gonna go over here, down here. So, again, we have the, um, it's definitely, in the groove a lot better than it should be and uh, so that's good I have to I went all the way down here and it is uh, hooking up to the lower pulley but again I need to get underneath the RV and string the rest of it around the air pump on the other side and when I do that hopefully things will um, work as intended and then I will come back up here and tighten up that bolt um, and basically tension it up and push it further up the slot there to get everything where it needs to be and we'll have a belt that doesn't doesn't squeal when I start up the RV like you've ever done so many videos and uh, yeah things will be better um, things will run, things will generate, things will uh, charge the batteries up, which would be great. And, um, you know, we're onward and upward with the uh, RV repairs. And this will be a couple weeks before our trip down to uh, Myrtle Beach. So, looking forward to that.